Good morning, Patriots! Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Angie Walker. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Thursday, March 3rd, 2022. Now, it's time to take a brain break. Welcome to our brain break and SEL technique. Today, we will be meditating by breathing in and out with headspace. Let's take a moment to sit down and take a big, deep breath. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. As you breathe in, a sense of taking in fresh air, the lungs expanding. As you breathe out, a sense of letting go. So relax with us next time for our next brain break and SEL technique. Now let's go to word of the day. Hey, Bonnie, why do you look so upset? Oh, hey, it's just that project. My partners for the project were being negligent, and I don't really want to do the project. Oh, yeah, I guess you did get stuck with some pretty irresponsible partners. I just don't understand how they could be so careless about this important grade. Well, I could help you out if you want, because, you know, I won't be negligent. <laughs> I know that for sure. <laughs> See you tomorrow on Word of the, of the Day. day. Wow, interesting. I never knew what negligent meant. Now, let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thank you, Angeli. Sports fans, our boys basketball team played their last game this past Tuesday. They lost with a score of 43-28, to but they gave it their all and ended their season with a bang. Great season, Patriots. In other news, today we explore a pastime that includes man's best friend. Dog sledding is still very popular today in North America and Europe not just for transportation, but as a pretty exciting competitive sport. These furry athletes are trained from the time they are puppies and first run loose along to adult dogs before they are hooked up to sleds at the end of races to get a feel for the harness. They listen to verbal instructions only and follow commands like ha and gi to turn left and right. The World Championships are coming up this month in Sweden and these pups are training 5-6 to six days per week. Hopefully, these dogs don't have too rough of a time. Now let's go to Joshua to see what's cooking. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is turkey tacos, wild white nacho Doritos, fiesta beans, crunchy celery sticks, ranch dressing, sliced apples, taco sauce, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you'll be receiving us today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Angeli. Thank you, Joshua. That sounds appetizing. Patriots. This week is the Dr. Seuss Read Across America Week. Today, you can wear green, and tomorrow, you can wear a college shirt or dress as your future career. I can't wait to see all your great career choices. Patriots, the Glow Party is on March 16th. To go, you need 25 path lessons in reading and math already. The due date is next Friday, so make sure to get your lessons done in if you would like to go to this Glow-tastic party. Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Scholars, here are the week's top hero users. Teachers, make sure to keep giving out those hero points. And students, make sure to keep on earning those points. Sports fans, Gross Life Football tryouts are today in the gym at 3.45 p.m. I hope you all make the team. Let's go, Patriots! Now, let's see what the weather's going to be like today with Randy. Thank you, Angeli. Hey, Patriots. It looks like you should be expecting a cool day with a temperature of 81 degrees Fahrenheit, partly cloudy. It looks like a good time to catch some cardio. Another with the news, have you ever heard of acid rain? If not, I'm here to tell you. 
Acid rain forms when anything that is makes up acid is evaporated and replaces regular rain water. This acid can be identified in the yellowish color. The acid rain can be caused by power plants and factories near large bodies of water. Try not to be outside when this happens. Now let's go to David for video game segment. Hey Patriots, welcome back to BBG. Today we'll be talking about the game Minecraft. This game can be played on Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, VR, iOS, Android, and PC. This is a fun creative game where you can let your imagination run wild, whether it's in a creative mode or in survival mode. In creative modes, you can create houses, cities, tree houses, and more. In survival mode, you can fight mobs like skeletons, creepers, zombies, and online players. There are also different online worlds you can join. The difficulties of the game ranges between four difficulties, peaceful, easy, normal, and hard. These can be changed when creating a world, and it's surprisingly smooth for such a blocky game. For example, the full game is made up of blocks, but the walking animations, skins, trees, water, and the clouds, they all look very good and smooth. This game has an amazing replay value. This is because of the thousands of roads you can make with your friends or in a creative game building structures like Star Wars shits or maybe all of New York City. Minecraft is all about letting your imagination run wild. Minecraft is very fun to play, especially with your friends. Trying to beat the Ender Dragon makes it magical. This game is full of creativity and I'm sure everybody will enjoy it because of all the amazing possibilities. I will rate this game a high 9.5 out of 10 and recommend it to anyone. Now here are some pros and cons. That's all for this week, Patriots. I'll make sure to craft you next time. Today's birthday boys and girls are Matthias Marin Gomez, Michaela Grayson, Najib Abu Gaida, Adrian Segreto, and Nicholas Melchor. Happy birthday, now let's go back to Angeli. Thank you, Destiny. Patriots, here are your past expectations. They represent, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, do the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners. Congrats to Miss June, Miss Santori, Miss Campbell, Miss Stone, Miss Onley, Miss Manning, Miss Gonzalez, Miss Shadid, and Miss Ayn Dinkwa. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, what is the name of the world's biggest island? The correct answer is Greenland. Now, teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. HG is the chemical symbol of which element? Teachers, please send your answers to pinesoutrenaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a thoughtful Thursday. And don't forget, this year we're all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!